Hey, welcome to another Adobe Animate tutorial. Knowing your mathematics is very important, especially when you are working in animation. By calculating the movement, the result will be realistic movement and that's what we animators like. I'll try to explain with use of Max and his Formula 1 car, an amazing ride. The wheels of his car have a radius of 90 pixels and therefore a diameter of 180 pixels, right? Two times the radius results in the diameter. Once you know the diameter, you can calculate the distance of the car traveling, the circumference. And the formula is 2 times the diameter multiplied with pi, which is 3.14, is the circumference. The distance it would travel when the wheel rotates only once. Let's give it a go in Animate. Ready, set, go! In the starter document you will find four layers. So there's the track which is locked, we're not going to use that for the animation. Uh, we are going to use the car layer, the front wheel layer and the rear wheel layer. Um, all set in different layers and every single object has been converted into a graphic symbol already. And if you don't know how to create a symbol, uh, there's an easy button over here um, that will convert your selected object into a symbol. But in this case both wheels are already symbols and the car itself is also a symbol. But I would like to move everything in the same time and therefore I need to have a, a master symbol, if you will, um, from all three layers. With a shift selection of all the three layers that we're going to use, I could easily do a right click and then convert those layers into a symbol. And of course, give it a name, master car, because uh, the name car is already taken by uh, that, the other symbol already. Um, so let's hit OK. And now we've got our master car layer and the track layer. Perfect. We are going to rotate the wheels twice. Um, so let's dive into this master symbol with a double click and then select one of these wheels. Um, and it's still in its own layer over here. So that's pretty convenient. Let's do a right click on the wheel and then add a motion tween. And darn, the rest of it all disappears, uh, but it's perfectly normal. So let's select this frame as well and add another frame to it and that will extend the life of the car um, and let's do the same thing for the other wheel as well right click and insert the frame and of course that wheel will need to have a motion tween in there as well. let's do a right click again create motion tween and now we've got two sets of motion tween and the car itself we're not going to move the car or we're going to rotate the wheels only um, so let's select one of the motion tweens in frame number 25 and then I can say well I want to rotate the wheel um, clockwise well then it, the car would drive backwards uh, or counterclockwise in that case the car will move forward to the left counterclockwise and not once I want to have it rotate twice same thing for the other wheel counterclockwise and then twice there we go double click outside of the car to return to the higher level, the main timeline. And um, if we extend this timeline uh, for, let's say, uh, one second, then I can add a frame for both layers. And if I would play with the timeline, I can see the, uh, the wheels spinning. Already looking good. Um, and please note, uh, the diameter is 180 pixels and we're rotating twice. Quite important for the measurement. Um, so let's uh, start with moving the car, the master car symbol. By adding a motion tween to the car, with a right click we can create motion tween. And here we've got our yellowish set of frames again. And I want to move the car off stage, so off stage to the right. Um, and in order to make this math um, assignment work, uh, we need to move it off stage to uh, 2970 pixels to the right. Uh, so that's our initial starting position and now it's over here somewhere on the right hand side. Let's move to frame 25 and let's move it to the left. Um, but therefore we can dial in the numbers. So we need to do our math right now. Um, so we need to do 2 times the diameter. That's 180 times 2, 360 uh, times 3.14 pi. Which will result in 1130 pixels approximately times 2 because we're going to rotate the wheel twice which will give us 2260 pixels to the left so if I dial in a minus 2260 pixels it will move to the left and create a nice new keyframe in frame 25 let's 
scroll to the left as well um, and now we've got our animation a uh, pretty fast animation all happening in just one second uh, but you can see that the rotation of the wheel is completely realistic with the speed of the car we can fine-tune the animation of course by extending the motion tweens that we've done so let's extend it to three seconds if you will add another frame over here in the background layer um, frame and let's jump into the um, the symbol of the car itself with a double click and extend everything in here also to three seconds there we go f5 for an extra frame as well in the car layer double click outside to get to the main level again of your animation and now everything will uh, will be slowed down um, but because of the math it will still be accurate there we go so that's how you combine mathematics with animation um, very valuable to do um, yes yeah, some math behind your movements in order to get a realistic movement in your animation have fun with adobe animate